Is anyone else out there getting tired about hearing about the Winnipeg Blue Bombers? Yes, I know I'm a Ryder fan. There's that huge rivalry, but you know what? We get it. Willie Jefferson signed. We understand you won the Grey Cup. I mean, you've celebrated and we're happy that your drought is over and all of that stuff. Every single day, there's something else. It's like the rest of us are kind of over it. The story that Chris Strebler is a legend, is a legend, is a legend. Okay, so he was on a Grey Cup winning team. He completed one throw, I think, in the game, and that was it. He's a legend? Is there a new definition for the word legend and I'm not aware of it? Was he Doug Flutie? Was he Ron Lancaster? Can somebody explain to me why people think Chris Drebler is a legend? Because I'd really like to know. Have you guys seen this article? article from the Nova Scotia Advocate and it was actually published on January 29th so it's a little bit old now. It was written by someone named Judy Haven. The line is bedbugs drive senior out of his public housing apartment. So you're like what does that have to do with football? That has nothing to do with football. It's about bedbugs, right? However, you scroll through the article and that's what I'm doing about my laptop right here. It actually has the quote, just have to find it. Here it is. Here's the quote from the article. Halifax intends to spend 20 million for a CFL stadium, which a tiny fraction of the affluent male population will visit. And year after year, the Department of Community Services fails to spend its entire budget on and post surpluses. So basically what they're saying is, this man can't get help for his bed bugs because Halifax is going to spend 20 million on a CFL stadium. But that's not really, I mean, so, I mean, that's ridiculous, right? Like that's just, who knows what, clickbait, I guess maybe is what we would call that. But what everybody is really acting to is the affluent male population will visit. So, the person who has written this article, who is a woman, figures that only men will use this um, complex which the CFL wants to build in Halifax. So now the person who posted this um, on Twitter or shared it, um, her name was Anne something. So. You know, I think a lot of people assumed it was maybe written by her and it wasn't. She was just sharing it on Twitter. But um, what ended up happening was that, of course, there was an outpouring from female CFL fans or, um, you know, male fans supporting females watching the sport. It's just mind boggling that for all we do in 2020, that this stuff is still out there. I'm a season ticket holder. I've had my CFL blog for more than 10 years. I know lots of CFL fans who are women. I've done research in the past. I know that it's the majority of women who buy CFL merchandise. So it's just very disheartening that in this day and age, we still think that it's only men. Another aspect of this is that here we are struggling to get this 10th team to unite the CFL from coast to coast. And this is just another hurdle because you know what? Only men are going to use it. It's just, you just shake your head. Don't forget to check out my latest blog on ABC Football. Thanks for watching.